Hey, Sunday morning. It's prep school. Um, I'm on solo today as um, I don't really have time to get my guesting worked out this week, although I'm good for the next two weeks. So I'm um, just kind of working on getting my down and out ones prep done. Um, so we'll be working on that today. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to get it done. I should. Uh, I don't think there's anybody here right now, which is fine. Um, let's see what we can get done in the hour we have allotted. Um, so, yeah. Like, as you can tell, I'm super excited. Very so, um, last DNO. You know, uh, let's see. Here. Well, it's not long, but it's not, if anyone does watch it, they'll know. Um, last thing you know, they escaped at the end of the fall of the Um, and then after, uh, after wrecking some stuff from Baldur's Gate, a bronze dragon showed up. That's my hot start. Um, they found out that, um, Kellex boy, um, whose name is escaping me all of a sudden, Grimshorn, um, was a disciple of Dendar the Night Serpent. Had, was uh, putting together some. Uh, oh man, I just got rid of a lot of things. I um, was putting together uh, some disciples of the Den of the Night Serpent, ostensibly Yanti, and in that process was uh, killing off Bay Knights. Um, they sort of stopped that, not by wanting to, but more by just some accident. And Norhand and the other children showed up and picked up Echo, Charity, Bliss, Presto, Aaron, um, Ellen, and now we're escaping on the Heartless. So the scenes are pretty simple this time. It's going to be pretty short. So the Heartless has to deal with the Bronze Dragon chasing it. We'll see how the PCs react to that. Um, they got to go back to Sigil and settle up with Mighty of Pain. It's got to give her proof um, of dude's death. Let's see if I can remember what dude's name is. Man, I am really slow today, brain wise. It does happen. Um, not the most fun thing when your brain is not sort of ally. Um, as you can see, these are my uh, alt lish. That's the dude's name. Uh, giving her. Proof of death. Bullish was a terrorist who was the head of a group of um, people in Sigil calling themselves the Dying Embers. Turned out Bullish also is a um, true believer in the Unmakers who are returning from a blind race to unmake the multiverse. Um, so I've already decided Lady of Pain's not going to allow the open house back into Sigil. Um, however, she's going to send it to the parish, which is where one of the oldest of their siblings has like a, um, pocket dimension. Um, so I'm basically going to say the parish is on the edge of the blind eternities. It actually is floating right between reality and unreality. I don't spend too much time looking out from, from the parish out into the line of turkeys. You know, and that's the thing So I've got, a, I've got an idea of how to do that as well. Um, once they get, the open house arrives in the parish. And the parish also is pretty much decimated after um, the um, kind of the evil siblings made their run at getting the cast of winter out of the open house and wreck shop there. Um, Christoph um, sent his minions as well as that to the parish to kill Anon who will barely escape. Um, so, and all that, they've got a giant thing called the Cataclysm which is I'm using 
something, probably grab the book. And I know, like, I'm just saying a bunch of words right now, but no one really, <laughs> no one really has any idea what I'm talking about. Um, the Cataclysm Engine, I am using a lower powered primordial ash collar from the TPK or Peace Theory Volume 1. I really dug this because it was a, hey, whoever's in the chat, because it was a, um, or who's doing, I shouldn't say that. It was a monster that's so massive that it has hit points and stats for each of its limbs or so on. So I had this idea in my head of a giant construct run by skeletons. And also I dug like the idea that they would have some type of uh, vermin on board with spider skulls. Calling phone claws inside. So what I'm trying to steer the players towards is that they're going to have to go inside the Cataclysm engine to shut it down from the inside while all the additional siblings that were trapped in the open house in the maze will have to deal with its effects on the outside as it just decimates the parish um, and tries to murderize them. And that's where the um, Auntie Valia shows up. So Valia was a character that a friend of mine played in a previous game who uh, achieved godhood. So after talking to her, um, I kind of discussed how Valia would most likely lose her godhood and in the process um, go the lich route. So I have been thinking that. I was like, well, why wouldn't she at one point or another have been hooked up with Tawny who is, you know, sensibly he's a, he's a fiend. Um, so they have somewhat of a hot old relationship. Um, and she's been there for um, a lot of the children. She, of course, has her other. Like everybody else, she has her other. Uh, she's got her, her finger in many villainous eyes. I'm sorry. Again, my brain is not working well this morning. Um, so, secrets and clues. Got a strong start. We got some scenes. What might the secrets and clues might be? Noren's wanted by the dragons on Faerun. Noren's a pirate. She keeps trying to explain this to them. Um, but Norhand is a pirate. So she's got things she's done elsewhere that are looked at as an issue. Um, and you know, we're also going to use that, though, to bring in some characters uh, from previous games that I want to use it. Tani was supposed to be neutral. That's how he got into Sigil. That's how he left the Blood War. But he was basically, and he used the word adopting very loosely these kids for this very thing uh, to train. Um, he's basically like a giant Roxasha version of Professor X um, with a little more of a devious plan in place. Once in the blood, um, and that's why he was collecting these children. He was setting up their their um, abductions through third parties, and then he was having them liberated from this guy, um, which you know, pretty manipulative. But he's mean, um, so I don't feel too bad about that. Um, and on the ever changing. Was supposed to kill Kristoff, but instead couldn't do it, so he imprisoned him in the book prisons. Um, and Kristoff got out. And that's a problem. Anon is on Storm Song, being forced to um, do all sorts of nasty stuff because that's going to come back to haunt everybody at some point. Um, Aunt Valia, she's a great help and a great um, hindrance. So the Cataclysm Engine was actually her home before Kristoff came and liberated it. Now it's his name is the parish where he was trapped in the city uh, So that's the whole true. Um, this should probably be moved up to the top. 
it's not really a secret. Back, um, the Lady of Pain will not allow the open house back. She will uh, allow some of the children to return to Sigil whenever they so choose that they can find a gateway in. But Connie's out. No more Sigil for Uncle Connie. And then um, when they get to the parish, it's on fire because they can't it. So we're going to have to figure out that uh, the Cataclysm engine. I should have wore glasses today. The Cataclysm engine was on to the and that's where the um, what locations might they explore? That's a good question. Um, I'm thinking the Faroon airspace is an easy one. They're escaping that. Lady Sanctum is... Uh, oh, why is it capitalized? It is uh, the Lady of Pain Sanctum. Um, the Parish which we'll find out gets moved to a liminal space. Um, so yeah, I've got that kind of set up. I think I'm pretty good right now. Um, I've got my monster. I don't really have any uh, magic items I need to figure out. I think the biggest thing I want to do is kind of flush out these other things. I'm going to really... Poor job, in all honesty, of, uh, of secrets. I think they're much harder than a lot of us can find it for. So I think what I'm going to do is come here. And let's see. Point J, the venerable life flourish. Like the DM has anything he can have. I find when in doubt, just like Shay, it. Um, I do feel like he is probably the best DM resource to find, in my opinion. So let's see if we can find any secrets. Trading Secrets and Clues, page 18. All right, so let's bust out a dice. Let's try to come up with some interesting secrets and or clues. Um, pardon me as I take through a bunch of parts. Um, no two figures to find my dice. I find a set of dice. Um, got a couple things I'm working on for Tiny Mang. I got some on, nah, not this week. I'm on in two weeks. But I got a couple projects I'm trying to on Oh, I got the big boy dice, which is fine. Let's see here. Um, character secret. Let's do that. Roll a d4. We'll go um, Akko 1 amulet. Security. We're going off the floor. So we got us a 4. Give me a twig secret. So d10 reveals. Number four, it's a 4. What dreams fill the character's rest? Interesting. Let's look at this NPC villain secret as well. Two. What makes the NPC think they're right? Oh, I like that. We're going to add this to, to Norhand here. Uh, Norhand... And five to Arnie's allies. One more. Um, and in the process, I to do um, these foul things. Um, so it has a huge 
sense of morality and her adopting her pirate code there. Um, I think that at least gives us something more. That's the hard thing with this, because Norhand was in a game where a bunch of the players playing this game were already in, so they have a reasonable relationship or idea of who Norhand is. Um, let's look at historical sequence. We can find anything out of that that excites us. Oh, what interesting civilization once thrived there. Interesting. All right, let's. Uh, I had to perish here. Hmm. Again, I want to kind of keep with the underlying insidious nature of the children of Pawnee, that whether they were actually not pleasant to begin with, or whether his long term machinations have moved them more in that direction. And painted them. That's kind of up for the to figure out. And they kind of figure out if they're falling into that same kind of situation. So, um, Anon took the parish. How about Failure gave Anon parish? E. She is not here. Something not good. She is not a good individual. Um, what does the name should do pop in my head here? Um, To do were intelligent, wise, and noble, orderly beings needed to uh, uh, I got something. She slew a conclave uh, should do who were using Demi as a place of peace, contemplation, and I, I mean, that means that the, the parish is built upon the remains of the Shadu um, enclave and that. One thing about the parish is they weren't all like that. Um, many of the buildings, a lot of the things are actually mimics, except the end on this. Uh, I'm in a lot. Um, also, may or may not be a lot of Lots of stuff going on with the old Um, Yeah, I like that. You can at Pistolia, nobody will die. I'm not a good person. Category. Um, how could it be moved though? That's another thing I kind of want to touch upon. Um, hmm. Let's see. One thing I try to do is please work substrat. I try to always have Google open because I find that any plane is to be. 
I'm always trying to find better wording. Uh, part. Nim. Um. Oh. Oh. Collective essence is uh, the burger to um I appealing to its nature in blue I mean So, kind of picture it as the um, Cataclysm engine smashes down and opens up that, that substrata, and you can see this massive, like, uh, for lack of a better word, a heart, a beating heart. Um, and that beating heart is a person of hope. It's not the uh, essence of the Shedu who will kill. Hopefully the players will come to that and move the parish. And then therefore we're going to down spots as well. Um I Nine. Let's go find one more secret. Um, let's look at plots and stories. Nine. Ooh. Interesting. What a natural being has appeared in the world. So since the background mega plot has been the unmakers or things fought back, um, and a natural bee. Hmm, interesting. I'm trying to think of a good unnatural D and D beastie. What if they have a Nightwalker? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Prophet? Let's see what we know about Nightwalkers. Um, Nightwalker is Love that Google. Morgan Collins. I love the idea of anti life. Um, so far, this is looking good. Just pick out a little bit of lore. Oh man, what if this was a re reborn Pult Lich? This was the gift for doing all the horrible stuff he's done. It's uh, getting to come back as a Nightwalker. Maybe, but I don't think I want to do that. Um, Bay in nature. All names. Uh, 
grab off the generator. Oh. Oh. Short narrows. Like that. Man. Four barrels. Wow. Off it. Oh, something to open makers. Explain. Um. Service night walker. Um, profit. Uh, um, Maybe we'll do a Rogue One thing here. Or not Rogue One. Yeah, kind of a Rogue One. We'll have um, as the parish works out. Hopefully it does, I should say. I'm not saying they're going to win, but they, they, if they escape. Um, the PCs and siblings see the arrival of Arrows. As the parish means I got that kind of image in my head of when uh, the transport um, the couples from uh, the Star Destroyer Vader standing there just watching. In open space. I don't like that image in my head. So, hey, we got those 10 secrets and clues, which are super cool. Scenes. Um, so, uh, yeah, we have. Great mimic migration. So I'm gonna have a bunch of the buildings just get up and putting the edge of everything possible from from chairs that just these mimics getting up and running from the devastation. Um, I think it'll be an interesting tutorial. Describe it well enough. Plus, they already knew. Uh, only charity has been. To um, the parish. So, um, the great mimic migration. What else? Scenes. These are only really fast. They only need a two hour time frame. Um, feel. This is where the PCs learn there is an opening. And it's got a engine and it's still Australia takes that she was partially responsible for informing the Oh man. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Trojans of uh, Achilles weakness. 
one thing I like to try to do in this is feed in that these some of these old characters, these characters that have supposedly been around for a long time, that they um they have been places, they've done things, they are a part of the larger omniverse. Um Um, bosom of, what did I call it? The bosom of what? Hope. Hmm. Let's find if we can find a better word. Um, Oh, how about the bosom of dream? I like that. Bosom of dream. Um, All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four of these being almost like sub scenes, so we're gonna move them. Not always very effectively. Um, we've got a strong start. Hmm. So NPCs wise, Lady of Pain, Failure, Tani, the Talk about, but he won't be there. Pelic, Eric, Busto, Jesus, Mini, Nargaz, Rose, Heartless, just added some prompts. Um, Jabaris, Malal. Needs to be mentioned here. Um, Who else is to eat? Is there anyone walking? Hmm. You know what else? Um, it's on the green shadow. Assault. Five mine. Bronze Dragon, and what else? We need to put a Night Walker here at the bottom. So I have to figure out where that is. Crap, he's just found. Hmm. I believe it was in Morden Kynans. Morning guidance. Why doesn't he find the page number? Um Um Hmm. Yeah, I Little, uh, a little stuck in my brain. Um, I'll have 
fine. Anything else? We don't think we're walking, so I love books. I want that copy of the books, but I will say um, using digital tools, uh, especially in the time of online, has uh, made a massive difference in my adult. Um, I go too far. Oh, wow, I go so good. There we go. Page two six. Coolio. You know, just saw something that intrigued me. What if the Cataclysm engine has a breath weapon? Vampiric mist. Maybe. Oh, froze up. You know, being pure keeps does. I can't recall. Oh, it's so long. I like that. I like it very much. Um, he used those pockets of pure mist. Empiric this and it was in what kind of holes. Two, three, four, six. Uh, two, four, six. I feel like we got something interesting. Magic items? I'm not even going to worry about that. Hey, two people in the show. Sure. Oh, wow, wow, that's crazy. Thank you, both of you, for watching. Oh, well, Sunday morning is. Mwah, um, I think we're good. If 
feel like this might also be an episode where some of the characters don't, some of the NPCs don't make it out of so let's grab our handy dandy. Maybe some of the crew of the hearts. Norian, of course, she'll make it because I, I feel like that's someone that this is watched on. I think it would mean something, though, if some of the rocks did not. I love Jabril and Bosch and Luther Shaw too much. Um, let's. Um, Kill list. Hmm. Sirius and Javon. They like Moongo's had a lot more to kill on, so we're going to put Boss on. I do feel like we need one big potential bet. Um, so let's look and see. And this is the list of the children of Tani. I'm trying to remember who all was stuck in the open house. Um, Oh, you kill Brylan off. That would be a big one. You got plans for Felix, Casca. I think we, uh, I think Brylan, this might be Brylan's time. I kind of feel in the overall scheme of things, um, Eric has kind of taken Brylan's spot. Island was kind of a uh, moral touchstone leader for um, Rakko, especially. I don't really feel like I would need two of those characters, and since Eric's going to be around for a while, I, I thought Byron, Byron's got to get his heroic death. Um, I think Nigella, too. I got plans for Nigella to come back. Yeah. All right, there they are. Um, tries to protect Asma K's with personal shield. Crushed. Um, Um, eaten by feeling mimics. Uh, and they're panic like a mimic stampede, basically. Oh, I lost one. Person. So sad. Hope you were. Hope you enjoyed. Um. Ugh, Nigella. Hmm. Oh, finger of death does.
Where are you seeing our death? Um, they as finger of death, I beam. We're only using that one time to kill me, Noah, but also it'll be a good thing to ramp up the potential tension. Um, and um, hopefully, for the PCs, real life just in the situation. One of the things that I want to make sure is this would be a good moment for Akko to realize everything can be touched. Um, you know, not, not everything. Um, killed by finger of death by beam. Okay, I think we're good to it. No, I'm, I'm uh, pretty happy with all of this. This is sort of a short skirmish. This is the beastie of all. These two are night, the night walk and the bronze dragon. Are the beastie of the right now. Plot devices. Same table for later. Oh, I'm happy to kill Presto too. Hmm. You know, add some serious gravitas to these characters. And plus, like I said, some of them are some cool ones. Um, and I've got a lot of NPCs. So, killing some of them might add to it. And then, you know, some of the NPCs might die. You never know. I feel like this is a solid right out. So, we're going to say. Um, oh, it's so loud. You know, crap. And oh, crap. Two. All right. We look good. Shockingly enough. Hmm. The old order changes a little bit. It's some interesting. This is kind of a big culmination moment. Um, kind of the end of the first big story, which is going to be the rush around of things. Um, everything else is like Doberus Bolo or Bolal and Kristoff and all that. That's all laying ground. I'm very satisfied with that. All right. Let's, uh, let's talk about this and I think we're going to call it. Um, I do appreciate it if you could drop by. I mean, to watch. And it's always cool. Chat, I think, hopefully, folks will uh, feel empowered to say more in the chat. I know that uh, I'm pretty bad at running this. So, um, being able to look back and forth with potential thoughts.
Where's my 228 at? Ugh. So I think that's all I got for today. I, I hope that um, you're watching, that you got something out of it, and if we enjoyed it, I got to figure out why. So, this has been, I have guests for the next couple episodes. Uh, next week, one of my players actually from from this very game will be joining us. Um, they are going to be running a portion of, of this campaign um, because it's their homebrew world. So I want to make sure that we have a discussion about that because I have laid a lot of of things down, and I want to make sure that they work from that particular player. Their business mess up their home. Um, and then in two weeks from today, I have the Dragon Eye. Um, Zach will be on. Um, and um, we'll just play some of our games. He might have some interesting tidbits about what he's working on. And as always, one thing with Zach is going to be. Um, Give each other a lot of ideas. So, um, thanks for hanging out for 53 minutes. I do appreciate it. I hope they can the next few weekends as well. And I'm going to go probably check out the Steam sale. So, um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. See you. Oh, you know what? I'll see some of you Monday if you want to watch. You know. 7 p.m. Central on this channel, two hours, seven to nine. Who's uh, going to fan? Uh, Tuesday on um, Tuesday. I'm not on this week, but um, Heel Turn, which is our sister channel, um, 8 p.m. Central to 10 p.m. Central. Uh, they're going to be chopping things up. Um, here, one person is watching. See, this is what I've kind of been working on for it. Uh, the drive for my motion stuff. Which is just a bunch of parts run together. I need to figure out some things with it. Um, so that Chaos Scar in the Hopper Friday is Drake when falls, 7 p.m. on this very channel. Highly recommended. Um, like I said, tomorrow's D and O. Then on Thursdays, Bad at Games. I may keep playing Zomboid this week. Not sure. I might switch up. I might play something else. Um, although I'm having a lot of fun with Project Zomboid. Um, I think that's it. So I hope. I said that uh, we see you, um, our one person, and we want to watch the future see you as well. And have a great rest of your day. Happy bowling. Bye.